it's always the way with uh, with budgets. It feels like we know everything uh, running up to it because it all gets released day after day, uh, and then there's a rabbit out the hat at the end. And I guess that's kind of what we're watching for. What is what is that rabbit? But as you say, what we've seen released is um, is that there'll be some extra stimulus in the short term um, with many of the COVID support measures, or all of them, uh, in fact, expected to be extended uh, out to at least uh, June. Uh, and then there are question marks about the degree to which the Chancellor will raise some taxes uh, to try and recoup some money with, of course, corporation tax uh, being high up that list. Yeah, I never really got the argument, I must be honest, of why our viewers, and a lot of them, are earning circa real tax rates of 50%, but corporations were allowed to have 19%. I guess there was a, an investment argument as well, that capital would be allocated if um, corporations had the lowest tax rates. So is that the end of that George Osborne experiment, where corporations actually have uh, infinite declines in their corporation tax rate in order to galvanise investment in the country? Yes, of course, the, the, the George Osborne argument here was that if the UK had the most competitive corporate tax rate, it would attract a lot more, uh, a lot more companies, uh, incentivise investment in the UK, uh, and that would obviously be a, a boon for the economy. Now, uh, as it turns out, it, it doesn't uh, really appear that it attracted um, that much more um, corporation tax uh, intake, um, actually, so cutting tax, um, uh, tax rates um, didn't really boost tax, which was the, the, the George Osborne uh, type view. And, and now at the moment, of course, after COVID, um, the uh, the UK has, has run up considerably more borrowing, will will expect to continue run up, uh, running up public borrowing ahead. Uh, and so the Chancellor feels he, he, he wants to raise some tax. This one, uh, raising it given what's happening uh, or what may happen um, in the United States would leave the UK still relatively competitive uh, compared to the G7. So I guess Rishi Sunak is in a way, if, if we try and steal a word from the Prime Minister, um, trying to have his cake and eat it. Um, so you, you, you retain the argument of having highly competitive corporate tax, um, but having it slightly higher. Um, in a world in which, of course, um, the Chancellor and the Prime Minister have committed to not raising um, the three main tax rates, corporation taxes, uh, the last big one left um, to raise funds, if that's what he wants to do. Uh, Robert, just on a broader point about UK competitiveness internationally, does this budget make sense given that we're now looking at the United States with nearly $2 trillion about to be spent uh, and the ECB and um, authorities in Europe still very much in easing mode and trying to provide liquidity? Um, has the Chancellor, do you think, on what we've heard so far, got the balance right on trying to um, help the deficit but also keep the economy buzzing? Well, look, I mean, the first thing to say is, of course, we're, we're going to have to wait and see uh, until Wednesday. But from, from what we can see so far, for me, the answer is no. Um, it looks to me like um, the support is being um, withdrawn um, too early uh, and too fast um, compared to, uh, to some other countries and probably to what the UK economy needs. Now, I mean, it may turn out um, that actually it's fine um, to withdraw support if the economy recovers um, very, very strongly indeed through this year. And I think everyone, um, we, we cross our fingers and we hope that there is a strong recovery because the vaccine rollout is going very successfully. So GDP is going to bounce. I think what none of us uh, can be absolutely sure about, given how unprecedented this is, is how far it will bounce. Will the recovery be complete? 